Right, hello everybody, my name is Mr. William and welcome back to another video. Today, we're back in Minecraft. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And as you can see, look, I've got a snorkel on, I've got a wetsuit on, I've got an air tank, and we've got some awesome flippers that we can't see when we look down, but when we go like this, we can see them. So, today, what we're going to do is we're going to go and dive down into the ocean and see what we can find. And look, there's already a massive fish there. So if we go down... And look, we can see clearly through the water with the snorkels on. And we don't have to worry about breathing because we've got a massive air tank on. And this is going to be amazing. This is so fun. I've never done this in Minecraft before. But check this out. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Look at this starfish as well. Red ones and blue ones. And oh, this is so cool. There's a green one as well. That's like a slime starfish. Awesome. And look, we've got a pressure meter as well in the bottom right. What's this fish? A nurse shark. Whoa! Look at this. There's two little fish <laughs> just swimming on top of the nurse shark. I guess because it's a nurse shark, it's looking after the two other fish. Oh, there's another one there as well. Oh, this is so cool. This is amazing. And then you've got the normal squid as well. Wait, let's go back up to the surface. Let's see how far we've come. Where are we? Right, we started over there. Let's go around here then and see what we can. There's another squiddy, squidoodly. And whoa, what's this? What is this? A chest. We stumbled upon a chest, dudes. Right, we were just looking for some awesome fish. I mean, we found some. But a chest? Can we open it? It looks like it's got a lock on it. Oh, we can open it. It's open. That's odd. A pirate's chest. No way. Gold coin. Gold coin. Loads of gold coins, which is always good for a pirate. A slime ball? Why would a pirate have a slime ball, apart from if it was the most infamous pirate in all of Minecraft, Captain Slimebeard? We've also got a golden chalice, a skull sword, an eye patch, so maybe we could be a pirate as well, or maybe that's just an old relic, and a book and quill. Can we read this underwater? Can we? We can. Head to PB. Minus 130, 72. 419. Captain SB. That must be Captain Slimebeard. It must be. Oh, no way. Okay, is there anything else in there? Just check. We're good. Oh, dudes. We have just stumbled upon something amazing. I don't really know what the note meant. We just... We've just stumbled upon pirate's treasure. We have done this. Pirate's treasure is the best kind of treasure as well. Okay, let's just check. Head to PB. What does that mean? Personal best? PB. Minus 130, 72, 419 by Captain SB. Well, if you didn't already know, my ancestor, one of my ancestors, a long, long time ago in Minecraft, was an insanely good pirate called Captain Slimebeard. Obviously because he had a slime beard, because he was a slime man like me. Let's take this off so you can see me. And he was the best pirate ever. He took on the Kraken. He got all of the loot. He was amazing. One by one, the Kraken launched men into the abyss below. It was now that the legendary Captain Slimebeard knew that something else had to be done to save himself, to save his men, and even more importantly, to save his ship. As one crew member momentarily took the attention of the monster, exploding a tentacle onto the deck, the captain seized possibly his only opportunity. Taking one last glimpse at his ship, he saw the mouth of the Kraken begin to open. With a tremendous leap, he dived into the opening, going where no man had voluntarily gone before and lived to tell the tale. Upon entering the wild creature, Captain Slimebeard experienced the worst stench imaginable, a mixture of fish and death. The light began to dwindle as the beast closed its mouth, the giant teeth almost spearing the captain. Suddenly it was pitch black, as dark as the night sky. Captain Slimebeard knew he had to act now. In one swift movement, he thrust his trusty cutlass upwards deep under the Kraken's head, piercing its brain. 
Now there are countless endings to this adventure. Some say the captain was unable to escape and went down with the Kraken to Davy Jones' locker. Whereas others say he clambered out of the beast's mouth and cheered with his remaining crew, raising his sword in the air in victory. But clearly the second ending must be true, as Captain Slimebeard went on to become one of the most infamous pirates that ever sailed the Seven Seas. But of course, you all knew that. And besides, I like that ending better anyway. So, there we have it. One of the many tales of the great Captain Slimebeard. But be warned. If you ever see the dark sails of the Ender Pearl, captained by a man with a slimy beard, be cautious. For that pirate took down the Kraken. And it looks like we stumbled upon one of his pieces of treasure. We've got a golden chalice, which, which is an awesome piece of treasure. A skull sword. Is this cursed or something? A slime ball, so obviously we know it's Captain Slimebeard, so we definitely know that. Some coins and an eye patch. Oh, we can put the eye patch on. Arr! I be a pirate, you say. Arr! Right, okay. What if. PB. I don't know what that stands for, but what if these here are coordinates? Minus 130, 72, 419. Because that's what pirates do, right? Maybe he's left more treasure. This is going to be the hunt for treasure. Oh, I can't see anything. Let's put our snorkel back on, our goggles. We can kind of see something. But if we can find the coordinates, minus 130 is this way. And then it was 419, was it? 72 and 419. So it is, this, it is this way. Okay, so we're not going swimming. We don't need a boat, or we might do. You never know. We might do, but all I have to do is head in this direction and maybe if we get to the coordinates we might find something oh man let's do it let's do it dudes come on let's go okay according to my calculations we are almost there look at this place there's pirate ships everywhere or at least i think they're pirate ships they're just massive ships and that one's green it looks a bit like captain slimebeards oh sweet i don't really know if it is though but look don't I just look amazing in this boat with my flippers sticking out the side? Oh, my feet get cold when I do that. Anyway, why is everybody dancing around in the water? I have no idea what is going on, but, you know, whatever. Right, it looks like we can get up this vine here, so let's just go up and let's see what we can find if we go to these coordinates. I don't know what's... Oh, 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 brilliant. Oh, brilliant. You know, first step of being a pirate, probably don't get stuck in a cobweb. Alright, so time to look a little bit less like a scuba diver and more like a pirate because this seems like where all the pirates are going. It does. PB though, what does PB mean? I can't remember. I lost the book as well on my way here. I dropped it in the ocean. So I have to remember what it was as well. Oh, look, there's people over here. What's going on? What is going on indeed? What, what's happening? Roy the guard? Every, is everybody getting stuck in cobwebs? <laughs> Everybody's getting stuck in cobwebs. Oh no. The smith. Alicia the smith. How can you help me? Well, uh, you can help me actually. I'm looking for a treasure chest. I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but I found one in the ocean and I think there's some coordinates that are leading me to another one. Arr, everybody comes here looking for a treasure. This is Pirate Bay. Whoa, you sound like a man. I, th I thought you were a woman. Arr, I be a pirate. Man, woman, we're all the same. But pirates is what we go by. Okay, sweet. So, um, well, have you heard of... Captain Slimebeard? Captain Slimebeard, the greatest pirate that ever sailed the Seven Seas. Of course I've heard of him. Who hasn't heard of him? An idiot, that's who. Great. Well, have you heard of any treasure or anything that he may have left around here in Pirate's Bay? Hold on a second. PB. That must be what PB stands for. Pirate's Bay. There's an awfully suspicious looking pirate ship on the outskirts of the bay. 
Maybe they might have something to do with it, but I don't know. Alright, well, thank you very much for the help. Uh, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Oh, and one more thing. Look up. Look, look, look up. Wait, what? What's up? The sky. The sky's up. Um, oh, a chest. Wait, where did she go? Where did that pirate just go? He disappeared. What are you looking at, Danny the Farmer? What is he looking at? She just disappeared. Wow, that is, that is creepy. Okay, well, look up. Maybe there's something up here then. In Pirate's Bay. That must be what it stands for. Go to head to Pirate's Bay. Yes. Oh, Captain Slimebird's... <gasps> slime plate, slime boots, slime pants, and slime helmet. Yes. Let's put them on. Let's put them on. Uh, I think I might keep the eye patch on, though. It's because it looks, it looks a little bit cooler. Now, we are a full slime man. This looks amazing. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, check this guy out. Check this guy out. What is going on? Help. Quickly. Somebody, anybody, I need help. Some pirates, they came, they took everything I have. I'm a farmer, they took all of my crops. Please can somebody go and get them back for me? And whilst they were in my house, I heard them talking about some kind of slimy treasure. I don't know if that'll interest you, but please help. Oh, great. Thank you very much, Nathaniel. Right, I'm gonna go and take a look at it. What, what are you looking at, dude? What are you looking at? Okay. Around the corner of the bay, there's a pirate ship. We finally got it, boys! The treasure of Captain Slimebeard. Yar, yar, yar! Starboard sail! The treasure is finally mine. Yar! Now I can sit here and be in peace with the most famous pirate's treasure ever. <laughs> Alright, here we are. This is the ship that we need to find. Apparently the, the guy wanted his crops back or something, but I can't promise that because I myself am a pirate now. So all I have to look for is the treasure. But he just kind of helps me know which way to go. And look, these vines here. I think we can get up. I think we just can. Let's do it. Let's go. And is there any pirates aboard? Oh, there is. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. There's pirates. Oh, dude. Okay. Oh, no. Just don't hit me, dude. Don't hit me, dude. Okay. This this sword is definitely... Oh, no. This one with a massive spear. Okay. Right, boys. This is my ship now. I'm coming for what's mine. Oh, what's Captain Slimebeards? I'm coming for it. Here we go. And one more. Oh, he's running away. He's a smart one. Okay. There we go, let's get him. Oh, is he trying to... He tried to... He just healed. Oh, he's a smart pirate. Okay, I'm sorry, dudes. I know you're, you're just following your pirate master's words, but we're good. We are good. I need something to eat. Okay, I've got, I've got an apple. I have an apple. The good old pirate apple. Okay. Now, where could this treasure be? Uh-oh. I can see another spear coming there. If the coordinates are right, it's minus... 130 I think 130 which is here and 414 which means it is in this area which must be the captain's quarters come on then come on then I can get I can get them whilst they're coming out the door there we go they're all piling out the door they're pirates then they're not clever enough to think otherwise they are not clever okay maybe maybe they are maybe they are oh no okay let's try and get some crit hits what is that weapon that that one's got there we go. Let's take this dude out as well. And oh no. Oh no. The pirate boss, he's got 500 health. Oh whoa, he just went invisible. What is this? Is this some guy? What is going on? I, I don't know. Oh no, this pirate boss is scary. Is this what happens? The curse of Davy Jones Locker. I don't know. I have no idea. There's another pirate boss. Oh no, they're not. There's only one real pirate boss. Wait, if I can knock him off the edge, then we don't actually have to kill him. Is he off? No, he's not. He's not off. Oh, he's knocking us off. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This could be bad. This could be very bad. There he is. I can see his dagger. Has he got some kind of special dagger? I only have three hearts left. Oh, dude. And he's got 320 health. Oh, well. If I stay in the water like this, I can actually take him down. I can actually take him down. Slowly but surely. 
as long as he doesn't get a hit off on me, because I, I'm going to get Captain Slimebridge's treasure. It's going to happen. Come on, there's so many... Oh man, he's spotting so many clones. Or summoning so many pirates. I don't know what's going on. Imagine if I take down the boss, and then I get killed by another pirate. That would not be good. Okay, I've lost him now. I've lost him. Where'd he go? Where'd he... Oh, here he is. Okay, he's down to 100 health now, I think. As long as he doesn't re... Reheal himself or something. Uh, you can stay away, Mr. Pirate. Oh man, this is a lot tougher than I first thought. I got one heart. Oh no, he came up from behind me. Oh, I got one heart. One more shot, and I'm I'm done for. He keeps going invisible though. The invisible pirate. Come on, I should have got backup, man. I should have got my own crew. Arr, I need me a crew. Did he just heal? He did just heal. Oh, you smell, Mr. Pirate Man. You smell of rum. But where? There's all the rum. There he is. Oh, he keeps healing himself. Dude, what are you doing that for? Where is he? He's this one right here. And I've got to remember, I've only got one heart. So, there we go. We got him. We got him. What did he drop? There we go. He dropped a trickster dagger. That must have been what he was using to go invisible. And it looks like, as soon as I got him, all of his friends have disappeared as well. Oh, can I use a trickster dagger? I don't know how you use it. Am I invisible now? Nope. Oh yeah, I am. You get invisible for a little bit. Oh, that's amazing. That is just what a pirate needs. I mean, oh, okay. I, I can't climb up a ship. <laughs> Maybe I'm not the best pirate in the world. Come on, let's do this. I think all of the pirates have gone now, which is good. So now all we have to do is go in the captain's quarters and see if there's anything left behind. There is. There's a treasure chest. There's another treasure chest. It looks like a pirate one. I can't open it. I can't open it. Check the coordinates. We're exactly where Captain Slimebeard told us to go. Wait, what's in here? Oh, a skeleton key. Probably need that. Yes! We got it, dudes! We got the treasure! We've got some more gold. We've got some diamonds. Beautiful. Some more slime, so we know it's from Captain Slimebeard. A pirate banner. We've also got a green crown and another book and quill, which I guess is another note from the captain himself. Let's read what it says. Here I bury my most prized possession, the slime crown. Only a worthy pirate can wear this crown, and if it were to fall into the wrong hands, I don't know what would happen. Anyway, I'm off to battle the Kraken now. Captain Slimebeard, what an absolute legend. Can we put the green crown on? Yes, we can. That means that we are a worthy pirate, although it covers up our eyes a little bit. But, you know what, I'm going to keep that in a safe place. I'm going to put it in my own special chest. Or maybe I could bury it again so that no one can ever find it. I'm going to keep my eye patch on and we are going to continue to be pirates. Arr! That's what I'm talking about, ye land lovers. And now, you will always remember this day as the day that you almost caught Mr. Williamo, Captain Slimebeard's ancestor. Yes! Let's go. Woohoo! We did it! Yo! Yeah. Alright dudes, there we go. That is the Minecraft pirate story with Captain Slimebeard and lots and lots of pirates. If you have enjoyed, please make sure you punch the like button down below and maybe even add it to your favourites and share it with some of your awesome friends. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure you consider to do so and you can stay up to date with all my new videos. But my name is Mr. Williamo, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on my next one. Adios.